Welcome to the Savvy Radio Show with your host, the Savvy Landlord. Up next is the best deal ever. On Fridays, check out all episodes on SavvyRadioShow.com. Yes, we're back. It's Fabulous Friday. Jimmy Ogle, home investors, killing it. Only been in real estate for two years, over 50 deals. Jimmy, what is a deal that you can share? I think the uh, best one that sticks to mind is um, one that called and was talking to my office coordinator. And it was a house that was gutted down to the studs in Dell City. And um, they said they needed $27,000. She sets the appointment. I get to looking at it. I said, call him back and let him know, you know, offer is going to be much, much lower than that. That you know, Are you already just, in the property or? No, I'm, you know, at the office trying to, you know, on the save, count, save looking us it up. both time. If they need $27,000, I'm not going to be able to help them. This is when I was, you know, very new. And um, <clears throat> so I have her call him back, let him know. And he says, well, just go, have him go ahead and come out and see what his offer would be. So I go out. I mean, the electrical, everything has been ripped out of this house. So it's just a shell. Yeah. And, um, you know, so I offered $3,500, you know, I, I didn't want the house cause I didn't think I'd be able to sell it and, and they take it. <laughs> and so, you know, I'm calling everybody I know, you know, trying to sell this house before the closing comes up. Cause and this I was a sign. Your, your goal was the ex- exit strategy was to sign it. Right. So you got it under contract for 35. And so I call my roofer who also, you know, rehabs and has rentals and things. And, um, you know, he, he bought it for ten thousand dollars, so I, I sold it within twenty four hours. But it was just one of those deals that, you know, I didn't think I was gonna be able to sell, so I was, you know, that's awesome on it. And uh, you know, the the biggest thing that I learned out of that was, you know, don't judge a deal too early just because they say they need a certain amount doesn't mean that's you know what they're willing to take. You know, another thing that I've learned too, uh, it's a great story, is that you should scratch every deal. I, I mean, I just popped and did a smoking deal um, that that I found that they wanted to sell their house a year ago. I had on a piece of paper, I threw it in a drawer. I opened it up a year later, called the number and they were motivated. And when I went over there, I didn't think it was going to work, but I, you scratch every deal. You just never know where it's, I I exhaust every opportunity until they say no, or it's just not going to work. Like they're dumb, like 27,000 and it needs $30,000 worth of rehab. It's not going to happen. Right. So this is one of your first deals back two years ago. How is that? How is that house now? Is it done? I hope. I haven't been by. I, I, you I don't, don't give a rip. Of, I don't spend a whole lot of time in Del City. So. <laughs> That's so honest. I love it about you, man. With you, this whole time, folks, that we've been doing our interview earlier, he's been staring at me, and it's just hard to communicate <laughs> with him and try to yoke it out. Like I can't ask him any numbers because he's in a, in a contract, with FCC. But man, you're a great guy. It's been a wonderful pleasure to have you on the show. Folks out there, investors, young or old, any deal, even if you flipped an ice cream stand, I would love to hear about it. And we, and I think it would be an encouragement to other, other investors out there. The climate's changing in the investment world. If you have a lot of private money to lend, it's about time to get it out there. Get it into the real estate world. Jimmy, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. I can't wait. A couple of years from now, I'm going to have you back out. Thanks for having me. All right, man. Investor Weekend is not far off with over 10 information sessions to increase your portfolio. Log on to www.investorweekend.com. Whether you are a seasoned investor or never purchased a property before, you don't want to miss the Investor Weekend. Join us for a powerful, knowledge-packed weekend with over 10 informational sessions that are bound to enlarge your real estate investments. You will hear from the best national and local real estate investors that will share practical and relevant experiences with you, the investor. There will be several networking sessions to connect with other like-minded people for potential funding, partnerships, and yes, hot deals. Go to www.investorweekend.com. Thanks for listening to the Savvy Radio Show. Glide online and listen to our other motivating episodes at SavvyRadioShow.com. Connect on Twitter at LandlordBook and always be buying assets.